Thank you. Great. Um, will the White House announce Hunter Biden's presence on Marine One moving forward? Uh, that's something that we've never done. This is the family. The family gets to uh, travel with uh, with the president, and and that's been the case with every other president. Uh, and so it's not something that uh, we have done or or we would be doing moving forward. The reason I ask is just the, the legal trouble he's facing, it, leaving him off the list would appear to some like an effort to conceal him. Um, at, and I guess the question that it begs is, why does the president think it's appropriate that taxpayer dollars should be used to fly him around when he's been indicted and justified a congressional subpoena? So I would refer you to uh, Hunter's personal representatives as it relates to any questions about uh, the legal affairs. Uh, but as you know, as you know, as it relates to the past couple of days, as I just stated to your colleague, uh, is that, uh, you know, um, the president and their family were uh, obviously, uh, it was a somber, a somber anniversary uh, that they were recognizing. Uh, and uh, so you could imagine what that is like uh, for them. And, um, and I'll say lastly, and I've said this many times before, the President and the First Lady love their son very, very much. But as it relates to anything uh, in regards to his legal affairs, I would have to uh, certainly um, refer you to his uh, representatives. I just don't have anything else to add on that. And real quickly on Bidenomics, you know, the White House is trying to sell this Bidenomics message heading into um, the election year. But we have a new Fox poll, and it shows that nearly half of voters, 46 percent, say the administration's policies have hurt them. And voters don't see the economy getting any better. They're twice as likely to see it getting worse next year. Why is that? So I'll say this, and we've talked about this many times, right? Um, the last few years have been challenging for the American people. We know that coming out of the pandemic. When the president walked into this administration, the economy was in a tailspin. It was. And so the president did everything that he can to make sure that we get this economy back on track. And we understand, we understand that Americans, you know, feel like things are still unaffordable. We get that. Uh, and that is something that the president has said himself very recently. And that's why he's going to continue. When it comes to, that's why the Inflation Reduction Act is so important. Matter of fact, no Republican voted on that act. If anything, they're trying to repeal some really important provisions that deals with lowering the prescription uh, drugs, right? That deals with lowering health care, that deals with lowering energy costs. And so that is something that the president signed, and only Democrats voted for it, no Republicans did, and it's going to help the Amer American people. And so there are, you know, there are historical actions that this president has taken that has shown, the data shows, that the economy is in a better place. But I understand, we understand that Americans don't feel it right now. That's why we're going to continue to talk about junk fees, making sure that that is uh, something that we deal with, right? Making sure that uh, we're beating big farmer and lowering uh, drug costs for Americans. So there are ways that we're going to continue to make sure that the number one thing when it comes to binomics that the president deals with, uh, lowering costs, uh, we're going to put that front and center. Matter of fact, the president's going to be in Milwaukee, Wisconsin tomorrow. You'll hear directly from him. He'll talk about bi bi binomics. He'll talk about how small businesses is at the pillar of binomics and how important it is. We have seen record, record application, more than 14 million applications uh, for people wanting to start a small business. And that is because Binomics is indeed working. Thanks, everybody.